This time on Woody's garage. More stuff we don't need. Well, I just got back from the Mansfield swap meet, which happens once a year. Mansfield Mass. And I picked this guy up. Uh, it's a Bronco. Don't know a lot about him, but I have seen them before. Don't know this model. I think it's a Diablo, though. I looked a little bit on, online since I got home. But no engine, certainly a, um, a newer mounting plate for an engine. Some of these had like motorcycle engines, like Benelli engines or something on them. Not quite sure what. But uh, it's funny, I was walking around thinking, uh, just about thinking that I was gonna run into my friend Randy, who I always see there, and there he is. I walked up and said, hey Randy, and then I looked at the bike. He was kind of hedging and hawing about buying it. And he said like, you ought to buy this, it's perfect for you. So I bought it. <laughs> Got it cheap. No gas cap. Where are you gonna find one of those, huh? That's a weirdo. It's a rear sprocket. 41 chain. The guy had like a Honda clone engine that was a three-speed automatic, not no shifter on it. It was really kind of weird, but it was kind of iffy, so I didn't buy that. That's what he was gonna mount on it. And I also got this ugly old Briggs. It's off a snow blower. Like I said, it's off a snow king. I had a snow king, which is kind of weird, but he said he didn't know the horsepower. We we're both thinking about a three and a half or something because it does look kind of small. But to be on a snow blower, I mean, you'd think it'd be a little bit bigger. Look at this housing thing. <laughs> Isn't that a riot? And they really covered them up back then. No snow in this one. And uh, I guess this was kind of a choke. Ooh. Isn't that wild? Still has a cable attached. It's not seized up. Doesn't feel like a ton of compression, but you know, it's been sitting for so long that uh, everything's probably stuck. Like an updraft carburetor, I guess, on it. I don't know, it'd be fun to start it up anyway. And yeah, there's so much stuff there. I did a video on uh, just taking snapshots and stuff like that. Hard to cover, it's gigantic. My legs are killing me from walking around. But I gotta thank Randy for letting me grab this guy. Well, let's see if we can get this thing to sputter. I might take off some of this, and then again, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> a big honking thing. And the carburetor. Check that out. A sec. So I took out part of the housing here. It has these vent holes which went over the muffler. But the muffler also could vent this way. It's kind of weird. I wonder if it was to keep the carburetor warm enough. Oh, I think that's the choke. I've worked on one of these before. Updraft carburetor, I guess they call it. I'm gonna take off this housing. Well, maybe I won't, because the pull start goes through it. Let's pull out the plug and see if we get spark. And there are the numbers. I can't remember how to read them. Nice crusty little plug. I dribbled the mystery oil. The plug will come out easy, which it did. And we're going to put a little in there for its enjoyment. If I was a betting man, I'd say there's going to be no spark. Because <laughs> it's points, I'm sure. And they're probably dirty. Let's see what we got. Yeah. No spark. I'm going to take this big flap off really in the way. 
had to pound the metal down around to get this one out. There's only three. And this will move. These came out really easy, which makes me think maybe somebody was in here before. And put them back in. A little oil on the set screw there, because this certainly will come off at some point. Boy, it's awfully oily for a snowblower engine, isn't it? I just want to bet it, is there oil in it or not. I bet there's no oil in it. Because I had it tipped at a weird angle at, when it was in my cart. And uh, no oil came out or anything, so. Hmm. There's oil in it. Not a lot. <laughs> hmm. All right. <clears throat> it also looks like someone's tied this off again because it's so sloppy. So let's pull that out and I don't do want to take this stuff. Oh, look at this. Probably had a top that was removable or something. That's pretty cool. Hang on. Covers off. <clears throat> Some free leaves. No nest though. We got to take this off to see the points. I think I'm gonna clean some of the crud off of it first. We're in. There's the coil. I do see wires coming up from inside the. Oh, I got one fin broken. Take it off. Okay, we got the uh, crankcase thing off. I put the screwdriver in like this, which I don't like to do, breaking fans. I used a piece of wood against these so I didn't crush them. I know there is a tool made for this, but I don't have it. Then a couple of taps from behind with a piece of wood and the hammer, and the flywheel came loose. Lucky. I this little point cover here. What I found with these old bricks is a little bit of filing on the points and uh, you get spark. So, so that's what I'm hoping this time. I don't lose the screws. Now this is definitely a small engine. This could be as small as a two. Yeah, pretty corroded looking in there. Let's uh, clean that up. But look at that. That's filthy. Get some sandpaper in between there and clean it up. So what we got right now are points pivot here. It doesn't appear to be moving because the points are not going up and down at all. So I get a little lube on that and free it up. plunger right there is just sitting still doing nothing. It's frozen so the points won't go up and down. And we're trying to fix that. I've tapped it a little bit but it hasn't moved. And it's stuck up. Hmm. A little lube on it. Maybe it'll work its way in. Maybe it won't. Seems to be kind of a bust. I can probably get it going, but 
uh, there's no compression. No, I didn't think there was much, and there's none. Maybe a stuck valve, yeah. And this guy's stuck, so. Definitely gonna put it on the bench and look at it, but I think I'm gonna call it a day right now. Funny I should be working on this guy. The longer I look at this, the more I realize how much I hate that white frame. I'll probably paint that silver or something like that. It needs to be gone all over anyway. Not a perfect fit for the gas cap. <laughs> no. A little courtship battle out here. Two males want the female. They both want to sit on my dock. The herring are up right now. I see them. I'm in the sun. Splash around like crazy. Everything's mating out here but me.